The next uh, piece I'm going to read is from my chapbook called Three Cent Pulp that was published in 2022 by Above Ground Press. And I'll read the title poem called Three Cent Pulp. And remember the rusted fire escape that looks so much like a broken rib cage somewhere in East Vancouver, where we thought we'd met the real Lexington hero. Instead, there were grimy shopping carts and beer-stained ledgers, broken teeth in the Cecil beer parlor. A boy and a girl, damp from last night's rain, arms bruised blue midnight, making up in the room next to ours to the smell of wet wool. A dog fight every night after that and walking down to West Pender to buy the three cent pulp, only to find out that we were a decade too late. Three flights up, Osborne and Ferberg, waving their fists, a million drunken molecules, the filing cabinet sloshing with bottles of Canadian club, and I was 21 and we were 21, and we ran into the street into the spring, and she opened her mouth and took us in. And remember days later, D.M. Fraser reading Masterpiece Avenue at the kitchen table with a voice like tearing skin, sportsman cigarettes and buttered bread, and the promise of the Pacific Ocean. Remember how everything was an open door because the hinges were broken and we bought books at thrift shops and punctuation left so many scars. Remember how we woke to a morning sharp as broken glass and knew that everything had changed. Remember how after that for months, small birds named Janie and Ambrose and Spiffy would settle on my window ledge and how Tom never called to let us know Fraser was gone and how for years after that, the air moved tenderly around us. 